What's up, fellas? How's yeah. it going? So, Garbage Pail Kids, huh? Pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that is some Garbage Pail Kids. That's a lot. So, uh, so yeah, we decided to bring in a guest because this. I, the guest isn't nearly as interesting as all this amazing crap sitting in front of us. And this only just scratches the surface. You don't even know what's like sitting behind us. You don't even want to know. Yeah, I don't know if you want to. These were sitting in my Easter basket. 85. I never heard of them. <clears throat> opened them. I still remember the first couple that I opened. They're probably laying back there somewhere. And like were... the actual... You still have the actual ones? Oh, I, with, without a doubt. Uh, I've never... Anything that I've ever handled garbage bucket related, I've never let go. <laughs> uh, and I opened them up. I still remember them. Second series. These guys. Cyclops. One-Eyed Jacks. Soft by Old Sam were the first ones I opened up and I was hooked. And, and, uh, and I never stopped buying 31 years later. <laughs> jeez, jeez. Now, nobody who grew up in the 80s can, like, forget Garbage Pail Kids. I mean, like, this dude is an icon. Now, now what's, his, what's, what's his, what are his names? Adam Bomb and Blasted Billy. They always had, uh, you guys remember, an A and a B card. So one image with two cards, an A card and a B card. Both uh, same exact image, different names, though. Right. Uh, yeah, and, and I mean, they were, I remember they were huge for a couple of years, and then I thought they just sort of disappeared until talking to him, and he's like, no, he's been collecting them all along, 15 <laughs> series, I don't know, did they go further than 15 series? No, they, they went 85 to 88, 1 through 15 series, there was a 16th series in the works, but sales had slumped so much that they did away with it. Uh, then I guess it was in the early 2000s, they brought them back for... Uh, another run like these these are what you No, know, those about? are brand new the ones that They brought back a couple years ago with these guys. They call them uh, I like when he goes in the back garbage pail kids <laughs> A&S <laughs> all new series and they released I think Five or six new series. They did away with them and then they introduced Flashbacks cards where they capitalized on like the nostalgia of the 1980s oh, oh. Oh, Shante. <laughs> oh, wait, that's... They released these flashbacks cards with all the 80s images. Uh, and I guess sales spiked because got people like my age that are... Yeah, I was buying them. Yeah, they're hankering. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're like hankering for 80s nostalgia. Yeah. And, you know, all the stuff from their childhood. So sales... Hot, like sales really peaked for the first time in a long time. I so. mean, what what you folks are seeing here in the front, all these packs, these are exactly what you think they, think they are. These are just loads and loads of unopened original series garbage pail kits. Here's quite, quite third series, a whole bunch of third series cards, fourth series cards. Yeah, I can see. The I gum never, is still in the mall. The gum's in all of them. You can feel the gum. Can I give somebody a shout out? Donnie Chambers once ate a, ate a stick of the gum that was like 25 years old. <laughs> it dissolved the second it, it hit his tongue. Yeah, a lot of these unopened packs I, I bought. and. Uh, but 14, when did 14 series come out that you've had them, had them that long? So you've so had you, them since the 80s? Oh, yeah. And you didn't open them on no. purpose? Some of these boxes I've had since the 80s. But this, did, this, did you know not to open them? like? In yeah, your... because my father was a lunatic. Okay, so he... <laughs> and always told us, if you look, some of these boxes are empty, but some of them have packages of stacks of wrappers because he because every pack i opened i saved the wrappers i saved the boxes and my father was a collector of everything and anything and i'm a collector at least of a few things we take after our father our other brother is a little bit of a collector as well but my mother always supported it so when my mother would go buy us or would go buy me garbage bill kids she'd buy the whole box so i always wow. saved the box she'd, she'd come home even if it wasn't full it was half full she'd have them in the box and dad always told me if there's a couple packs of cards left and you want to buy them ask the guy at the counter say can i have the empty box uh, so to this day even if i see new garbage yeah. kids like new box new box new boxes all over the place i always say like if i buy everything remaining in the box can i take the box too and i used to keep wrappers i kept gum i never ate the gum of course. Of course they'll give you the box. I mean, when I buy now and later's for myself, I buy the entire box. Well, you gotta have the whole box. And I, take, and I that's true. Really? I, I will go. I, I've, 
There's a bunch of boxes of now and laters. I was searching for now and laters for years because that was that's like that's my candy. Right. That's the candy. But they disappeared. Like they used to be able to get them everywhere. Yeah. I couldn't find them anymore. And literally for years, I would I would stop in random convenience stores just hoping to find them again. And I finally found them at one of these gas station convenience stores. Um, like you know maybe three four months ago or something. And immediately as soon as I saw them, I was like, oh, just took the entire box off the shelf <laughs> and bought the you know bought the whole. The guys looking at me like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> And as I'm buying it, not only did I grab the whole box, but I also said to the guy, can you check in the system if you have like other varieties? Just order them. I'll be in in a couple of weeks and I'll just... <laughs> and he he shook his head. This, this is yeah. the saddest man I've ever seen. That's, that is pretty much what his reaction was. And yeah, down laters are a problem for me. I eat them until I feel sick. Oh, Lord. I, 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 I actually feel sick. I'm like, I can't eat these anymore. And then I just, I keep on. So sorry, now and later segue, but it's, I felt it was relevant. Very much so. <laughs> These are just doubles of cards that I already have, like num in sequential order in binders. I've got six binders that are that are two or three inches thick, and they're all full of every card from every series right, in break, chronological order. Break out a first series binder, because yes. I, I, I want to talk about the actual guys, the, the actual characters, because people are gonna people are gonna get a kick out of remembering them. Now, one thing that I thought is think is really cool about Garbage Pail Kids, and this is like a big deal to me because. I, because I'm a big comic book guy, I've always been into comics, especially indie comics and so on. This, like, these were, were the, the, the original, I don't know if, 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 if it changed over the years, but the original Garbage Pail Kid art was put down by Art Spiegelman, um, one of the greatest indie comic artists of, of, of all time, writer and creator of, of Mouse, which won the Pulitzer Prize, um, you know, great Holocaust book, you know, he's a, he was a legend um, from the 60s onward, just uh, this counterculture figure. So for him to do this like pop culture stuff that we were into as kids is like, kind of crazy looking back on it. So. I, I saw an interview, there's a documentary coming out about the Garbage Pail Kids for their 30th anniversary. And who was the art? It might have been, it was Art Spiegelman. He actually referred to Garbage Pail Kids as the 80s kids counterculture. Huh. So I think he very much connected it to what you said. He was this countercultural kind of artist, mm -hmm. and Garbage Pail Kids. I think he he felt were very much in line with what he had always. Well, done. they were. I mean, I I remember as as a kid thinking these things were like, oh my god, you can do that. Oh like, yeah. They were like they were gross and funny and like irreverent. Um, I, I remember getting them. I remember the ice cream man had them. Yeah, let's let's. In town. That's where a lot of this stuff was purchased right off, right from the ice cream man. Yeah, like, and we would, you know, it was chip witches or strawberry shortcakes, but instead we were wearing garbage pail kids with whatever money so here, we had. Cyclops, that was one of your first ones, these, right? As a matter of fact, pretty much everyone on this page are ones I very, very vividly remember opening up in 1985 that I got in my Easter basket, which is especially <laughs> why some of, like, I'll never be able to part with these, with these ones because they, they're just so chock full of nostalgia for me. I look at them, I see... I see like young, innocent, childhood Brian, and I. Oh, now, as, I long as, for that. <laughs> you're gonna have to find like good scans of, of these as we name the characters, so this way people can see them on the I screen. Because holding this up, will, holding them up, will be terrible. Leaky Lindsay. I mean, you see Leaky Lindsay, of course you remember that. So, um, some of these are big enough to. If you want to hold yeah. Up. Fran, Fran. Yeah, the uh, the the, the two-headed gal. Fry and Ryan, Godzilla Kid. One of the ones I remember clearly, and it's always been one of my favorite Garbage Pail Kids forever, is uh, Dizzy Dave. <laughs> now, did you ever use the folders for school or anything? Hell no. <laughs> oh, these are old? Yeah, these these are from 86, Wow. 87. Yeah, I don't want them to get damaged. They, almost, they almost look like the, like when they did the re-release. They look... Yeah, they're, they're, I somehow managed to keep these things pristine. Now, now if you look on the back, folks... The back of the cards join together like Voltron to form a giant picture. <laughs> that's now, now, oh, that's what, electric? Who's Live who's, Mike. Live Mike. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think you mentioned it before, right? The most famous one of all, Adam, uh, Adam Bomb. Adam Bomb, yeah, probably the most iconic garbage pill kid. And I think from, if memory serves, that particular card from Series 1 and, and, the card number one, because I think Adam Bomb and Blasted Billy were 8A and 8B, but number one and number number 1A and 1B, Nasty Nick 
and Evil Eddie, I think those two are the most valuable garbage pail kid. Cards. Just like rattling off names, <laughs> like you know. So it's <laughs> awesome. Childhood well spent. How many? How and many? Adulthood. I remember there were like the the dinosaur cards of like dinosaurs tearing people up. I got them here. That that was this is all inspired by these, right? I, I would think so, yeah. And also made by the same company. Later, after the dinosaurs attacks cards. Dinosaurs uh, attacks. That's yeah. That's what it was. Uh, they also re reissued the Mars Attacks cards from the 1960s. Oh. Put those out in the 1980s. Yeah. Toxic High School and Fleer, I think, had Grossville High. There were a lot of, like, gross-out stickers that all sort of... It was all riding the wave of these things because these were so huge. This is ridiculous. Now, 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 when you bring women home and, you, and they see... <laughs> They see yeah, are these the, out in your? Are these like on the? No, no, God, no. <laughs> these aren't in the dining. I think room. they'd walk right through the front door and then right out the back door. They've got Adam Bomb on the fifth series box. He was on every series until I believe sixth. Oh, really? Even as a card too? Like they had? No, it's just always on the boxes. Okay. And as they brought Garbage Pail Kids back in the two thousands, because they brought them back in two thousand twelve again for the, they call them B and S for brand new series, and Adam Bomb is on the cover of every single box. How they kept, they did the same. Because yeah. I think they wanted to capitalize on that popularity from the 1980s and put some really iconic image there so that people like us that remember them would be like, oh, I remember that. And it works. Snatch them up. <laughs> yeah. Do they say GPK? Is that like part of the Garbage Pill Kid community some, nomenclature? Some people definitely That's do. what it is on, uh, it's on Twitter. Interesting oh, story. Yeah. Hashtag if, if, if I could tell you where I got this and I got a bunch of other stuff. In the late 1990s, I worked some retail job, and I was talking about Garbage Pail Kids. I started buying them on eBay, and uh, and I... It's a sickness. It is, it is a sickness. <laughs> but I made mention of it, and the girl I worked with said, oh, I had a grandfather that worked for Tops. He used to bring us this stuff home all the time. The next day, she came in with a box of all kinds of cool, unopened things, and one thing she brought was, it's a full box of these <gasps> buttons that, that they put out. There was a set of 12 made up the, the complete set of buttons, and they're all in there. All the buttons are still in the shrink wrap, full box. Oh, all right. See, now yeah, they look like the sticker. They're even shaped like the stickers, except it's literally, it's like a pin-on button. That's pretty cool. And she just, she gave them to you? Yeah, she gave them to me. They're, if you guys remember the... Oh, I remember, I remember the, the braces chick. Uh, she brought me a full unopened box somewhere around here of the large huh. cards. All kinds of really neat stuff. This is kind of cool. It's a non-card related item. And these are the these are the kinds of things that maybe because of our father that I'm actually interested in, in collecting. These are sales sheets. This is what they would send to retailers to to I guess entice them to buy their product and sell it in their stores. So these are for the the cards that came out in the early 2000s. But they'd send this kind of stuff to the real retailer, telling them. What's going to be coming up in the new Garbage Pail Kids set? And uh, <laughs> like the retailers are like, oh, I can't wait! This um, is so excited! Oh, they're going to have J Jimmy Dean in this one. That's, that, that, well, that, but they're, they're telling you, look, scratch up. and sniff online oh. bonus stickers. Oh, see, scratch and, sniff. Scratch and stink. Uh, mm -hmm. scratch it wouldn't be Garbage Pail Kids if it didn't stink. In the 1980s, occasionally they would poke fun at at real people, like this Ronald Reagan one. But not so much. But by the time they started coming back in the 2000s, you would see that often. They would yeah, they'd make fun often. of yeah, all the people, all the knuckleheads from the Jersey Shore were all targets, and oh, every yeah. politician they've all been targets. What else we got? We've got um, what 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 would you even call this little bag it's thing? Oh, pencil, pencil holder. Yeah. yeah, pencil holder. Yeah, remember remember as actually, I, I mean maybe you didn't have them, but elementary school like the oh, little yeah. like office you, supply bag yeah. with like your oh, yeah. erasers and, and pencils. It was just, that plastic. Yeah. You, 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 it smells. May, may I? Oh, yeah, you may. <laughs> this, you, you realize this is the second show that we've been smelled smell, smell things. <laughs> and comic book, these are obviously are new because IDW was not around yes. at the time. Yeah, they're. Anything that the garbage pill or that talks would <laughs> slap that name on, they're slapping the name on. Fables, fantasy, and farts. <laughs> so this is classy, classy stuff. And gross encounters of the turd kind. <laughs> so so it's not enough to have the one gag in the title. They've got to double it up. Somewhere. Oh, wait a minute. Pete Bag? <laughs> did, did. Oh, he's awesome. He's... he's I, and I'm probably mispronouncing his last name. It's probably Baggy, but I say Bag. Um, he's the creator of uh, Hate... And, and and Buddy Bradley, can I open this? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm already starting to. <laughs> now, I'm thinking that for people who want to relive 
their garbage pail kid youth without actually having to go and buy these things and collect them and all that. I'm thinking like this is the way to go, right? That's the way to go. It's the first, I think, three or first two series. Uh, it's high quality scans. Five, according to this. Oh, I don't know got, if it's all of them. The first five. Uh, just images for every card. I think it gives you the A and the B card. Yeah, it gives you the names on both. A nice uh, introduction by Art Spiegelman that talks about the history of Garbage Pail Kids. A really cool thing at the very back, they do give you, there's a one-of-a-kind oh. card in there. It's a mystery card. Oh, there, there you go. Now, this book is still in print? I, I believe so, yeah. So I get that at Barnes & Noble a couple so years ago. people can still hit up, they can hit up Amazon and, um, and, and grab this. Oh, Toothy Ruthie, that's disgusting. And if you notice, the... <laughs> The jacket is the same as the wax pack. If you feel it, it's the same. Oh yeah, I guess it to is. Give oh, it that, yeah, yeah, to give it that same kind of feel. Huh. You that's, can't beat it. And it's actually, very nostalgic. Just touching that, it feels nostalgic. And it also looks like the top of one of the boxes. So it almost feels like you got the it box in your hand. should have come with a stick of gum, though. I believe it does. <laughs> what? Does it really? I think in is there. Is inside of it? Inside this bonus sticker in the back. I believe there's also a stick of gum. What? It probably looks like that <laughs> broken stick of gum there. What? There's, That's wow. pretty funny. That is. And the Funko Company put out, I only have the empty box here. I can't seem to find the actual vinyl dolls, but they put out little vinyl figures of all different garbage spell kits from, from 85 and 86. Uh, so you're starting to see a lot more of their stuff in stores, which is kind of interesting. All comic book stores, you're finding Garbage Pail Kid comics, the vinyl toys, the books, you're finding the new cards. Uh, there's a lot of Garbage Pail Kid stuff now out there. There, there, are, there, there are... You just... gotta show off the poster. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Grab, yeah, grab the poster. That, is, that actually is kind of cool. Yeah. And, and you said, right, it's not actually a poster? It's... No, it's, it's an uncut sheet. It's a sheet that was, that was never cut up. Uh, so eventually, they would have cut this... And if you take this out, it's like the regular garbage pill kids on the opposite side. But this at one at one point would have been turned into cards. Oh, so this right here, what looks like a poster, this is the flip side of cards. Yeah. So like what we were showing before in the binder, where you could put them together to form a big big image, that's this. That's the image. So yeah. on the other side of this, there's garbage pill kid cards. Yeah. And these are the the backs. You got your checklist. Every series had a checklist in the back. Gave you the full run of all the A's and the B's. Mm -hmm. So if, yeah, if you look at it, and these were for a lot of different sets. These were the, always the backs of them. Again, it was just some ridiculous picture, a little bit of writing. Yeah, th these are, these would have been cards at one point. That's crazy. That's awesome. I, I, that's my favorite thing out of the whole collection. <laughs> <laughs> Absurd. Absurd. Do you, okay, now we'll ask, do you have a favorite? Brainy Brian, of course. I could <laughs> dig him out. It would probably take me only a second. Of course, he's my favorite. Do you have a favorite series? Series two, because it was the first, it was the first ones I ever got, and I those are the ones I, I happen to think that some of the coolest artwork and some of the funniest garbage pail kids, but I also they're the ones I remember getting for the first time. Okay. So it's all connected, like it's all connected to childhood right. memories, and I look at them, they still make me laugh. I thumb through those binders with all the garbage pail kids all the time, not all the time, but and they actually make I laugh out loud. I look at those things, they make me chuckle. You they're pic hilarious. Picture them sitting alone in a room, like <laughs> yeah, that, it's happened. I realized this was the first art I was collecting art, right? And I kind of think of it that way. It's ridiculous, but there are some noteworthy uh, artists who have drawn garbage pail kids, and I think of it like that. They're funny. It's connected to some childhood nostalgia, but it's also pretty cool, funny art. It is. It's, if you think about it, it's the first art that any kid would have collected because you're collecting it because of what it looks like. Yeah. You didn't yeah, collect baseball true. cards because of what they looked like. You didn't yeah, collect that's anything true. else. That's, that's true. true. Maybe comics would be the closest thing, but but that that you're collecting for the stories and characters, right? Not yeah, so it is. You're you're absolutely right. Okay. All right, so this is this is our first uh, the first guest on hours in the attic, and we're gonna write we're gonna start uh, hitting them with um, uh, the five ultimate guest questions for a guest. Can you do some cool text? Say so you want to say it, what is it called? The five ultimate guest questions for a guest. Okay, make yes. sure, yeah, make sure I'll you make do sure some cool text. Don't forget right. that over the top. Yeah, it's gonna be so nice. <laughs> it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be awesome. All are right, you, hit it up, Tate. Are you prepared? I didn't study, but I'll give it a shot. Okay. I winged my way through college like this, so let's see if I can do it again. <laughs> Alright, first question. What was your favorite ice cream truck item? Oh, oh, fucking snow cones, I should I curse? <laughs> you can say whatever yeah, you want. Fine. Snow cones, without a doubt. <laughs> Okay. Wrong that's... answer, but that's fine. <laughs> well, also, the firecrackers are pretty... Actually, you want to know the truth, my favorite ice cream uh, truck item 
There Garbage Pail Kids. I was, yeah, well, I, <laughs> that's what I, considering you said before that you used to buy them yeah, from the ice cream I, I don't know, I'm like, off my game. What Smurf do you most identify with? Oh no, I don't think I know any Smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> You're too busy collecting Gargamel. Garbage Pail Kids. Gargamel, Gar I like that. Fair. <laughs> yeah, I, so what was Gargamel's cat's name? Osriel. Very right. good. Good man. Favorite before school cartoon? Has to be a before school cartoon. I like that you were very specific. Yeah. Maybe Smurfs then, even though I said I just didn't know any Smurfs names, but I vaguely remember watching Smurfs very early. Smurfs in the before before school? I think so. There might have been a time when it was. Yeah, I remember. Because they kinda I remember the Jetsons for some reason they played. Oh, they all yeah, they all all the old right? Hanna Barbera stuff. Yeah. Great Space Coaster, which wasn't a cartoon. You remember that show? Yeah, it's Great local. Space Coaster. That's, oh, I can still sing the song. Okay. That's the Great Space Coaster. 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 Great Space this is this is this is weird, but you know, say any line from an '80s movie, TV show, cartoon in the character's voice. We'll give you time to think. We can edit this. Okay, yeah, edit this. <laughs> I'm just. It's got to be. Exhibit A, the horn I was picking up at Chuck's Bike Orama when my bike was actually stolen. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Very All good. right, that works. Thank you, sir. Thank you, gentlemen. Excellent. That's awesome. Excellent. Thanks for bringing all this crap yeah, by. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for taking the time to look at it. No, it's, it's yeah. cool stuff. I think people are gonna people are gonna dig that. They'll dig it, or they'll be very sad about my life. <laughs> <laughs> that, that may be. They, I wouldn't blame anybody. And 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 they don't even know you. Yeah. With which is which is to say, you know, there's there's many other things to be sad about. But they do know me. No garbage pill kids know me. That's. <laughs> Good ending, though. Yeah, there you go. <laughs>